Hi everybody, welcome. Today we are here in Quintana Roo, Mexico. We are hanging out in Costa Mujeres and we're staying at the Majestic Elegance Resort. We've been here for five hours and I wanted to do a quick video of just my first impression of the resort and how I'm feeling. I know it was actually pretty difficult for us to narrow it down with all the hotel zone hotels and the other resorts in the area and they have some have really good reviews some have really terrible reviews so i wanted to do a quick video on my first impression here so let's get started all right first thing first know that this resort is remote it is in the costa mujeres area but i think that is the charm of it and we personally picked it because we're not like the type of party people we don't we didn't want to really be in such a busy area like the hotel zone um, so we picked this place and it's definitely remote but it's really really nice the beach is very clean there is very little seaweed there's like a little bit but just not like sargassum like overflowing or anything like that it's actually really nice um, the hotel just right away um, look and feel of it obviously it's really nicely decorated it looks really nice when you got when we got here people greeted us with a cold towel that smelled really good um our hotel wasn't ready it was uh we had we did arrive around I think like one o'clock and they said it wasn't gonna be ready until three so they gave us our little bracelets and allowed us to explore the resort we can get drinks and food right away that was not you know like that was not a problem so i personally liked that when we did the check-in they right away asked us if we had any food allergies or dietary restrictions or anything like that so it's really nice as we eat a vegan diet it's just nice to know that you know they, they want to know when they want to accommodate you so while we were walking around the facilities look pretty clean it's really nice and honestly the staff is really attentive everybody was like just very on top of things and refilling your water or helping you clean up a plate or whatever you need they're really there for you so i right away noticed like how attentive they were the restaurants there's a variety of them and so far we only been to one and it was more like the snack area you can have they have buffet most of the day and they have a snack time and then dinner time um that one we actually met a food concierge there and she was really nice and she obviously right away said like hey you know right now we don't have a lot of vegan options but there are things that you can eat um tomorrow morning she's in charge of um the big uh, buffet in the main area so she said she could definitely accommodate anything we wanted as far as like if we wanted like vegan chicken tenders or uh, pancakes or crepes uh, and a bunch of other stuff she said like they could make pretty much anything uh, vegan for us so that was really cool and I think so far I must say I would I want to say that it's a really really great experience the only issue so far and this is my first impression that I'm kind of sad about is the check-in process the check-in process itself took a little long um, it was okay the staff was still really nice so that's not the big issue but when we had to come back at three o'clock to see if our hotel was ready that's when we had a problem we were getting ready to check the status of a hotel and then we were moved to another area where they were supposed to assist us and they did they gave us you know access to a room and when we got there it was not the right one and although I specifically asked the guy like hey is this the rooftop um, suite? You know, we have a rooftop, like we want the jacuzzi in the rooftop. And he's like, yeah, 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 this is this is it, just like the third floor. And I was like, how, how, how is it like that we get a rooftop but it's the third floor? Like that didn't make sense to me. But I was like, okay, we'll go check it out. It turned out that they gave us a different suite, which was still really, really nice, but it wasn't what we paid for. And obviously we had to, um, we had to go down back to the lobby and honestly that took like the whole ordeal just to fix that it took about like 45 minutes so that was kind of annoying um because i think if they would just pay a little bit more attention and confirm with you like hey do you have this room it looks like you booked for this room just like providing confirmation on price and um the room that you that you booked would be really nice because uh, they could have really avoided that whole like 
ordeal and you know for me it would have been like a fantastic experience just like a 20 like you know my first impression of the hotel so i think right now from like four out of five i would sorry like so right now from zero to five five being like great you know great experience first impression right now I'm, i think i'm at a four because of the check-in situation granted people make mistakes and they did accommodate us right away but i was bummed out because when we came into this suite which is the one that we booked with the rooftop and i'll do a little room tour um it wasn't ready as far as like the little extra things that they did on the other room so when we walked in the air conditioner like when we walked into the first room the air conditioner was on um, they had the music playing, they, they had like robes for us and everything and then when we walked into this one like there it wasn't like it wasn't everything was clean but it wasn't ready like there was no music playing, the air conditioner wasn't on, there was there actually are no robes in the uh, in the room so I have to like request them so it's just little things and granted I know they probably made a mistake you know and, and they did give us the room that we wanted but I think it just kind of decrease the experience plus we also checked like the reason why we we're coming and it was i said like it was graduation and an anniversary and then they usually put like a little banner outside your door and obviously they didn't get a chance to do ours since they ended up having to switch us so that was like a bummer but still overall even with that i would so far you know five hours into this resort i'm pretty happy with it I'm going to be doing a couple of more videos on just overall how we feel after, you know, a couple of days being here and really exploring the restaurants and getting to, you know, know the staff and really interact with the activities and stuff. But so far, honestly, I think as far as being accessible to somebody that has a restrictive diet, it works out great. The beach is really, really nice. The rooms are pretty nice like overall pretty nice there's like some things here and there that I would you know adjust but overall they're, they're really nice and they're spacious I think in general the amenities look pretty good just first impression we haven't gone to the pools yet but we did walk around and we checked out a couple of the other areas where people are hanging out so everything looks really nice but we haven't used it yet so we're gonna check that out this week we're probably gonna go to the spa uh, swim around the pools check out some of the nightlife and then obviously eat at the restaurant see how the vegan food is all right so right now we are gonna go get dinner and start exploring those restaurants so i'll see you on the next video